back at it again guys, another tutorial. This time a bit special because we're gonna look at ReCut, which I use to cut my tutorials with automatically. It cuts out the silence, which is super duper. So let's take a tutorial here that I need to process. And it looks at the audio file here and it has al already made some red marks here, as you can see. Let's listen. <laughs> Back guys, today we're gonna shake. Yeah, so I said something here. Uh, so we could remove this by touching the threshold here, if we want to, but then maybe some other thing things might uh, go away as well. So this might be my fault, you know, having my mic gain too low so uh, but i don't think i wanted that one uh, either neither either brother if you want to remove something you can just also you know uh, select the space and then backspace i think it is yeah let's look at the settings we have here so we have the threshold which i had on auto but now i i refine it myself a little bit just so that some of the, like this, get yeah, the RuneForge, uh, and the RuneForge fan. And today I'm a bit sick and not the RuneForge fan. I don't even hear what I'm saying. The RuneForge fan. And today I'm a bit, yeah, maybe I should actually keep it at auto and uh, the RuneForge. And today I'm a bit sick and also, yeah, I think I recorded the vocals, the vocals, wow. Uh, my voice a bit too low here some places but uh, it's another sooth doing i spoke too silently here in the beginning but i think it, it catches the, the silences pretty well so on the threshold here we have uh on auto at the moment we have the minimum duration so this is the silence longer than this will be cut so if there's a silence longer than 0 0.5 seconds it will be deleted cut you could uh, shake this one out and yeah i like to have it pretty low or well, 0.5 or maybe so and you also see in real time you know where things are being removed and we have the padding here which is you know the the left if we zoom in on somewhere here the uh, right and the left side how much silence they are on the uh, right uh, and the left side. Um, I think the uh, default value is pretty nice actually there. So you could also choose if you don't want to chain these, you could change the left and the right independently as well. And they also added, it's been here for a while now, but you can remove short audio spikes. So audible clips short, shorter than this will be uh, cut. So maybe I will use this. Let's try it. Yeah. Let's look at what what it's removing here. It's like the <laughs> okay. Where what? Yeah, I don't need this this stuff. <laughs> so I will remove this. Okay, where were we? My camera didn't record or something. And not this either. You know, you can just cut away stuff. Even if Recut doesn't uh, remove it, you can listen through and just it before you go into your um, project in Final Cut Pro or what other program you are using. Let's, let's move on to the next plugin. What I'm missing here is that I, I want to be able to cut things manually as well, but I think it's in the works. Okay, <clears throat> uh, it's 76 from Waves, I believe. Be yeah, and my audio is in mono for some reason. Uh, Correct, but I think it's because I record in four shots when I record my videos. Okay, you can also change this setting right here. You can cut where any track is silent, uh, and uh, or you can cut where all tracks. It is if you have multiple tracks, you know, multi cams and stuff, which I don't use in this recut project. You can also split this file in sections. And then it will export all these purple, you know, 
as separate files if you want, want to do shorts or reels or stuff, TikTok style videos, and you just want to record one long sequence when you in the when you are in the recording process. Really nice, and you can set the the amount of silence here, <laughs> not the amount, but the, the seconds. Silence longer than this st starts at a new section. Yes, and <laughs> oh, oh. on the export side, we have our Final Cut project here that we can rec uh, export to. We can do a DaVinci Resolve and Premiere, ScreenFlow, CapCut, and XML file. If you want to export the timeline, you can also export the video in uh, in this case original. Uh, 2560-1440 and you can choose video, video and software or only the WAV, uh, the WAV or MP4A audio and you can do the sections here uh, as well so if you you know select the sections here then export the sections here Entering somewhere. <clears throat> and what I'm gonna use actually when I uh, export this one is export is as a multicam so this will put everything inside a multicam clip and apply the cuts to that and i only have one clip here if you have multiple clips it will uh, export it into a multicam but i find it easier to just have one clip open that one in final cut pro and then put in the other clips in that multicam so then uh, if i have this face talking cam it will be cut in the same way as, as this clip that I have here as well. And that's it uh, for this one. You can also select clips here. And, you know, if you have multiple clips, select which clip you're working with and stuff. But it's really easy and automatic program, I think, which saves a lot of time. You know, all these small silence cuts and, and, and stuff, which I don't need. It's, it's really nice to be able to remove. Goodbye.